I am in utter shock right now. I cannot believe this just happened. The Commanders traded John Dotson to the Philadelphia Eagles and wow, this was just I just got out of the shower. I mean, this is insane. We really traded Jahan Dotson. I did not think it was going to happen. I thought that he would be on this roster, he would be on this team. I didn't think there was any chance we cut him. The only way we trade him if if we you know we included him in a brand new package something like that. But this is insane. I mean, this is I'm still in shock right now. I can't even I'm I'm still processing things. Like this is crazy. Adam Schefter said it's a rare division trade obviously. And we made a trade with the Eagles back in uh April during the draft when we traded our 40th pick for them, to them for 50 and 53, which we used to take Ben Sinnott and Mikey Sanders still. Um I like that trade. I'm this trade is it's crazy. So we're sending Jahan Dodson in a fifth round pick to the Eagles in exchange for a 2025 third and two seventh round picks. So we're getting back a, a third round pick and two seventh round picks in 2025. I guess the value isn't bad. I guess, you know, we kind of won the trade, but this is, I don't know if I like the fact that we're trading it to a division rival. And this is our second trade we made with the Eagles. The Eagles now have freaking Jalen Hurts as their quarterback, Saquon, uh, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, Jahan Dotson, Dallas Carter. I mean, that is just insane. This this is just crazy. Now, what are we gonna do? Like, I think I think we could trade for Ayuk. I really do think we could trade for Ayuk. Adam Peters has to have something up his sleeve because this receiving core is not that great right now. I mean, we have Terry, and then after Terry, we have Diami, Luke McCaffrey, Olamide Zacchaeus, Jameson Crowder. I mean, it's just not great, and you know. Getting rid of Jahan or like trading Jahan just makes it a little worse. So I think that Adam Peters has to have something up his sleeve. And that could be trading for Brandon Ayuk. Using these picks we got for Jahan Dotson to trade for Brandon Ayuk. But this is just insane. I mean, I just I just don't know how to react. Um, this is probably going to be an unedited video because I just... This is crazy. Like, this is crazy. I feel like we're still in for Ayuk because... It's crazy. The second trade we made today, um, the first one obviously traded a seventh for Kate York, and then now this one, insane. It's a, it's a big one. I I'm in complete shock right now. Um, it's it's just insane. It's it's crazy. Um, I I did not expect this to happen. Like I said, uh, I thought he would be traded to the 49ers in a trade for um Ayuk, maybe a package for Ayuk, and not straight up cut. But we traded him to the Eagles, and I'm not sure. If I like that, Ron Rivera, man, Ron Rivera, he really set this franchise back because, I mean, Jahan Dodson, Jamin Davis, uh, Emmanuel Forbes on the first round, it's terrible, man. It is, it's just terrible, man. It's really bad. So I, I still, like, it's it's crazy to me. It's really crazy. We got calls from Dodson over the, pa over the past couple weeks because his role in Cliff Kingsbury's office was very flux, according to Albert Breer, so... I guess it makes sense why we traded him because he just didn't fit our offense, Cliff Kingsbury's offense. It's definitely a little devastating that we traded Jahan because I had high hopes for him um, this season. I thought he was going to be, you know, way better. Uh, but I know that he's not a perfect fit for Cliff Kingsbury's system, his offense. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury likes a more physical guy uh, with size. And obviously, we don't have a lot of big wide receivers in this receiving car. I mean, Terry McLaurin is six foot. Deami Brown is like six one. Uh, Jahan was 5'10". Uh, Bryson Tremaine is probably our tallest receiver, standing at like 6'3". Luke McCaffrey 6'2". So we don't have a lot of big wide receivers, but we need he, Cliff Kingsbury. He likes wide receivers that are physical and can block. And Terry McLaurin and De'Ami Brown can do both of those things really well. And Jahan just couldn't. So Jahan, he just wasn't, you know, a great fit for Cliff's offense. And it, it, just, it, it, just, it just sucks that, you know, Jahan's gone now because... Like I said, I had hopes for him. I had, you know, a lot of faith for him. And uh, it's, it's it's tough. It's tough. I have no words still. I'm still trying to process things because I just didn't expect this. And I didn't expect to trade him to a division rival, the Eagles, who we always play the Eagles well. Jahan Dawson, he had two really good games against the Eagles last year. Even, um, I think the second time around, he had over, like, what, five, six catches for 100-some yards and a touchdown. So he played really well against the Eagles last year. So it just it just sucks. Like, Jahan's gone now. Um, our wide receiver depth, like I said, isn't great right now, like, at all. Um, yeah, at all, I, I would say. I mean, besides Terry, we have De'Ami Brown as a receiver, too. I, you could say Alameda Zacchaeus, uh, Luke McCaffrey, Jameson Crown. I mean, it's just not great right now. Maybe we go out there and sign a receiver. Maybe we go trade for, you know, Brandon Ayuk. 
with the capital we received uh, from Jahan Dotson trade. So it's 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 really crazy. Um, it's a crazy trade, and I just don't know really how to feel about it right now. Um, like a lot, a lot's going through my mind because this is just an unexpected trade, super unexpected. Still totally in shock. It's an insane trade. I'm gonna end the video off right here uh, because I just don't have anything else to say. Really, I mean, the trade. If I had to grade it, I mean, I'm still processing things because this is just insane. This literally broke what, like, 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. It, it's it's a crazy trade. I mean, we got good value. I just don't love the team. You know, we're sending Jahan to and the Eagles. And yeah, he grew up in Pennsylvania. He went to Penn State, so uh, you know, kind of a good fit for him. He's gonna be the wide receiver three over there in the slot. Uh, uh, with AJ Brown and uh, Devontae Smith, but it's this is just crazy. This is just crazy. I did not expect this at all. But comment down below what y'all think about this trade. Um, and yeah, other than that, it's been King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.